There is that which is able to create a supply for your every need, the Word of God, and the Spirit of Truth, the Holy Spirit, who helps us represent God's fullness on earth. In true intimacy, partnership, and fellowship with Him. Be a part of this and join us as the servant of God, Apostle Joshua Stelman, brings to you the Word of God with simplicity and power. How many grateful people do we have in this place? Jesus, we bless you. Hallelujah. We'll try to make tonight's meeting very short. Um, we'll do three things tonight. Number one, we'll take a few minutes to really praise and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number two, I'll just share a few thoughts about Christmas. Just certain things that... It will be good for us as Christians to note and then we'll speak over our lives. Hallelujah. Praise God. Psalms 107. Just hold your Bible. Psalms 107. give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercies endure it forever let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered them out of the lands from the east from the west, from the north, from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way and found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he satisfied the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death being bound in affliction and iron because they rebelled against the words of god and despised the counsel of the most high therefore he brought down their heart with labor they fell down and there was none to help then they cried unto the lord Take note of every time they cried in their trouble and he saved them out of their distress he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their bands in sunder oh that man would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he had broken the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron in sunder fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquity are afflicted their soul had abhorred all manner of food and they draw near unto the gates of death then they cried unto the lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses he sent his word and he led them and delivered them from their destructions oh that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing they that go down in the sea in ships that do business in great waters these see the works of the lord and his wonders in the deep for he commanded and raised the stormy wind which lifted up the waves thereof they mount up to the heavens they go down again into the depths their soul is melted because of trouble they reel through and fro and stagger like a drunken man and they are the white their wit end and they cried unto the lord in their trouble and he bringeth them out of their distresses 
he maketh the storm to come, so that the waves thereof are still. Then they were glad because they were quiet, and he bringeth them into their desired heaven. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into a wilderness and the water springs into dry ground. A fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of those who dwell therein. He turned the wilderness into a pool of water and the dry ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell that he may prepare a city for habitation. And sow the fields and plant vineyards which may yield fruits of increase. He blessed them also so that they are multiplied greatly and permitted not their cattle to decrease again they were diminished and brought low through oppression affliction and sorrow he poured contempt upon princes and caused them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way he set it he yet he set the poor on high from affliction and make their families like a flock the last verse the righteous shall see it and rejoice and all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Hallelujah. How many of you are living witnesses that God has been faithful? Hallelujah. In the next 10 minutes, we are going to praise God. I want you to worship God in an undignified manner. Some of us, when it comes to worshiping God, you this, this ridiculous organization, keep it out of your life. I don't know how you are going to worship God. But I know that I have a testimony. God has been faithful. The psalmist said, If the Lord has not been on our side, now may Israel say, If the Lord had not been on our side. Psalm 3 said, How many are they that are risen against me? He said, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You are my glory and the lifter up of my head. Micah said, Rejoice not over me, my enemy. For though I fall, yet I shall rise. He says, Is there hope for a tree, though it be cut down at the scent of water? I like you to lift up your voice and say, Lord, I don't need another person to tell me you are faithful. Where is that God that can keep a man from January? Where is that maker that can keep a man through February, March, April, May, walking on the same road that killed another person, flying in the same airplane that can kill another person? The Bible says, He maketh heart that is barren to rejoice with children. Lord, I call you faithful. Men may call you all kinds of names, but this is my testimony from January, February, I thought I will not make it through the storm, through the sickness, through bomb blast, through crisis, through the wickedness of men. You have been our Ebenezer. Lift up your voice and let a song of worship. Lord, you are faithful. 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 Lord, I call you faithful. Give him a song out of the depth of your heart of gratitude. Make melodies in the spirit. Say, Lord, you are faithful for the things you have done. Miracles, unprecedented miracles of breakthrough, of prosperity. Let me tell you, there is nothing you will do for God this night that is too much. Your kneeling down is not too much. Your lying down is not too much. The tears from your eyes is not too much as of an expression. This year you got born again. This year you got filled with the Holy Ghost. God took you from nothing and made you a voice. For I remember when I was a shepherd by the wayside. David remembered the days when he was nothing. Deserted in the house of Jesse. But God who can pick an ordinary man. Lord, I remember those days when no one will hear my voice. 
Lord Jesus. I'm not ungrateful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. No matter what you have to complain about, realize it's even because you are alive. For the dead cannot praise the Lord. For the dead cannot praise the Lord. They that have gone down to the depths of the pit cannot praise their maker. But the Bible says, I will praise him in the land of the living. He said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let my worship rise, so God, like the evening sacrifice. I call you faithful. I call you faithful. Thank you. Go ahead and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the transforming power of your word. Thank you, Jesus. Many of you, God, took you out of that class to two two. Out of two two. Many of you graduated. Some of you served. Some of you got jobs. Marriages. Miraculous manifestations of the power of the Spirit. Deliverance from the hands of the enemy. God did not allow your enemies to rejoice over you. They that said, Where is their God? God put them to shame. Those who said nothing good can come out of your family. They watch your family dedicate houses. They watch your family celebrate cars. They watch ordinary people rise in your family. Because there is a God, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Abraham. The Bible says the keeper of Israel, he neither sleeps nor slumbers. For disappointing the counsel of the wicked, so I give you praise. 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 I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. How can I forget? message of God. You know it's not your prayer life that brought you this far. You know it's not your degree of obedience. This has nothing to do with you. You got miracles you did not pray for. You got breakthroughs you did not fast for. He said, count your blessings. Lord, we count our blessings tonight. Go ahead and begin to list as many things you know God has done. Say, Lord, I did not forget. You saved me from accident in February. Now we are in December. I know I've been busy, but I will not forget, oh God. Go ahead and pray. Some of you were admitted in the hospital. You saw others die. You saw them taking their dead bodies out. Some of you didn't know where your school teams would come from. But the God of all things. Some of you are carryovers that were waved supernaturally. You cannot explain it. For your mercies. Come on, we are giving him thanks. People died in plane crashes. Many church.
churches were being were in active worship when they were born it would have been us it would have been during one of the miracle services if the lord had not been on our side now may israel say now may the house of koinonia say lord you have been faithful it is a good thing to give thanks unto the lord to declare his praises in the morning many of you have become leaders see what the world has done in your life see what the world has done in your life you used to laugh at christians before but see what you have become by the power the influence of the holy ghost see how much the word of god has gained ground in your life he has given you a voice he has given you a voice he has made you a sign and a wonder who would have known that you will be healing the sick who would have known that you will be a prayer warrior who would have known that you will have the capacity to pray now you are a leader over many for your faithfulness for your faithfulness for your faithfulness lord we give thanks lord we give thanks hallelujah hallelujah let me tell you a few things that god has done in the house of koinonia this year and then we will praise him and thank him hallelujah we have experienced the grace of god in unusual ways listen if you don't learn to see what god is doing you will rob yourself the principle of thanksgiving is the way to multiply anything god is doing in your life many of us are not grateful when some of you are watching others rolling on the floor and worshiping and you are wondering why because they stayed in the hospital for one month with someone's leg hanging and they know god is faithful some of you are too innocent you don't have a testimony you've not been through anything even when you disobeyed god people covered it for you so you you can you think it's because of your righteousness but there are some people here that know that lord when people are bragging and saying my faith works i know it's your mercy because this year prayer warriors died general overseers died billionaires died millionaires died little children died you are faithful this year as a ministry it's been one of our busy uh, the busiest years we've traveled by road on the air but the faithfulness of god i remember when i was going to delta state when the plane crash was going to happen hallelujah we were moving in the air for over 30 minutes when we got to lagos because we couldn't land and later the pilot spoke and said there's a bit of challenge we may have to go to the neighboring countries and and land everybody was calling the name of everything there that would have been an accident Ah yes, all of you will cry for two weeks and it will continue. But his faithfulness. Listen, see. There is a way you can experience God's mercy in your life. It will cause you to love God as a matter of life and death. Because you have come to find out life strings will say that he's your oxygen. Literally. I've seen the faithfulness of God. We have traveled in the night. We have passed roads that they said armed robbers just robbed. Many of you saw armed robbers this year. They raped other people and left you. You would have been pregnant for children you cannot account for. Hallelujah. All of the disasters right in this area many of you it was when you left sabo that certain bomb blasts and certain things happened many of you armed robbers came and passed your house and robbed your neighbor you were even sleeping it's when you woke up in the morning you found out that one of your neighbors had died it's faithfulness 
as a ministry we have never lacked a place to worship is the faithfulness of God God has been faithful there is no miracle service that we've not had the Lord confirm his word I tell you if if you write a list of the miracles that have happened in Koinonia you would think we lied about it awesome fearful manifestations of the hand of God in our midst all kinds of heterogeneous miracles blood groups creative miracles you just name it we've seen families transform supernatural miracles hallelujah we were in lagos this year for a program immediately after the program a woman walked up to me walked up to me and gave us a plot of land in Lekki in lagos how do you explain that we have experienced the favor of god let me tell you something this ministry is not run by strength otherwise would have been dead it's run by wisdom the superior wisdom he said by me kings reign and princes rule we have seen the hand of god when you look at what god is doing and you weigh us the equation is not balanced there is an there is there is an unfair factor called god in that equation there's no time that you have come that you lack a seat to sit down and say sorry oh, we could not pay for seat or we could not pay for venue god has been faithful we've never had to manipulate you to bring out offering and say please help us we are in trouble the faithfulness of god you have never come here to see us carry the word and preach lies and deceits to you we don't say this to brag but you must appreciate the quality of the word that you have received in this place one man traveled somewhere for a conference that was well announced with guests coming around the world when he came back he came and met me he said look continue this that you are doing they are now spent millions on the flyers and they were just jumping around and playing child's play hallelujah oppressed people were coming going back oppressed it was just a jamboree but you many of you have invited people and you are you were so confident they won't be disappointed what if the people you brought were disappointed some of you brought controversial people who said i beg jare later you saw them sweeping the ground and saying jesus you are lord you say this is what i've prayed for the hand of god every time you come for koinonia you expect to hear the word imagine if we were not praying and serious with what god is doing that you just come and we come on stage and say well uh, we don't have much to share but i hope you know we are human beings too imagine if you came here and you saw all of us just saying we had a bad day let's all cry together many of you come and imagine what it will happen what it, what will happen to your faith but every time you come the spirit of faith enters you there is always a word that sets you above so you hear all kinds of junks there when you enter here you know that there is potent faith that is alive here praise god many of you have seen the power of god we have experienced the glory of god praise the lord we have seen the transforming power of god through our teachings and our messages i was sitting quietly when cbn africa called and they said they wanted to come and do a documentary on eni i don't know them from jack there are people passing their cards i'm a prophet please can you invite me i promise you you will not be disappointed but the hand of the lord his grace and his glory a lot of people called some days ago and said ah you're on ait and 700 club i refuse to look at it because i said these things can be deceitful i said lord i give you praise but i refuse to be misled by these things the hand of god we have seen other many of you know that i'm not telling a lie you know how you have watched your pastor suffer as if it's not god that sent them praise the lord you have experienced the hand of god the grace of god many of you came here with all kinds of evil spirits you got from wherever you packed them and came here 
and God cleaned you up and today you cannot even believe as a family of faith we owe God thanks because he would have done without us and he will still be God let me tell you don't you ever think God does not have people he can raise stones I'm always always with this mindset that it is within God's power to do without me are you listening to me it is within God's power if I die today you only cry and ask questions and say but we know this guy was a man of faith what happened regardless of what you say it has finished after two weeks you cry and then <laughs> everything continues but it's by grace you have never seen any of us you came for koinonia and you saw the ministers and we came and we said sorry oh um we just came out of the surgery ward strong and agile there are times we finish koinonia in the night and we are going for vigils there are times we are sleeping and we are praying for you hallelujah we are praying for you so with all your disobedience you are still receiving breakthroughs you cannot account for and one day god called you and said mr man you better brace up because it's not you different departments working we've had all kinds of things we have lived as if satan does not exist we've had criticisms we've had a lot of things but God has granted us wisdom and maturity and focus. Imagine if we started going on newspaper to say, look, let's explain ourselves. This power is not juju power. Oh, we've had people say everything you can imagine. Every kind of thing. Some of you are part of the, <laughs> part of the people who said it before you later repented. But all glory to him you see let me tell you something about god when you know god you you will be like a madman there is a degree of confidence that is out of this world and tonight we are going to say lord as a family of faith i say you are not thanking him for you now you have prayed if you don't have anything say lord thank you for what you have done for the ministers thank you for what you have done for every department the protocol department see listen you don't know the amount of work that goes in every week many of you just come in and there are ushers well dressed you don't know they are trained you don't know they are belt you don't know the amount of prayers and fasting that goes in for you to come and get the presence of god if you think you can get it in the air go and get it praise god do you know the amount of hours it takes to prepare a sermon just one quality sermon born from the spirit not downloaded from the internet born from the spirit the ability to stay and discern and ask oh god what are you saying not what do we do we don't prepare messages from january to december here and say this is what we must say we are working real time with the holy spirit there are times we have come here and we ended up praying correct because of the direction of the spirit we thank God for the blessings, the quality of ministers that you have here. Imagine if all the ladies in this place will not be safe because, because we are anointed. Sisters, imagine if you cannot come and worship God in peace and go. Because while we are Cain, Abel, I always use Abel is worshiping and I just spot that sister and send her a prophetic note. See me after. Are you not happy? Listen, listen, don't take it for granted. Because many of you have been victims in your churches and in your ministry. There are many ladies today that cannot quietly go to a ministry and worship God in peace and leave. There is always trouble. Or to be able to look and say, Janfa, come and stand. And we steal out money from your pocket. Whether you criticize, nobody will come and put a gun on our head. Have you not finished your story there? Who is chopping it? Is it not us? And we are just smiling and saying, God is good. By the grace of God Almighty, we account for every ounce of finances in this place. None of the ministers has direct access to the finance. Thank God that you have an environment of discipline where you can come and hear God's word. Not that you come here and just see us doing jamboree and just playing gimmicks and wasting your time and talking jargons. Hallelujah. Don't take it for granted. Hallelujah. 
in five minutes i don't know how you're going to thank god say lord i thank you for every avenue to communicate the gospel of christ for our facebook our youtube channel on twitter the ministers our miracle services go ahead and pray say lord you are faithful thank god for ENI. thank god for koinonia many of you have taken these teachings to your families they have transformed your churches your meetings we dare to say with all humility that we have made an impact upon the people in this land as a ministry whether by teaching by the miraculous hand of god to the glory of god lift your voice and say lord i thank you lord we give you praise we do not boast we are humbled that you can use us we are humbled oh god that you can anoint us thank you for the discipline in this house thank you for the love thank you for the vision thank god for every department the worship team the hours that go into rehearsals and building the protocol department the media the ushers they are always cleaning the seats making the place comfortable for you lift your voice and say lord we thank you lord we thank you for financial blessings we thank you for wisdom we thank you for leadership acumen the ability to manage people the ability to manage resources lord we return thanks as a family of faith we return thanks we return thanks we return thanks we've not had any bomb blast we've not had any act of terrorism we give you thanks oh god we give you thanks we have no ability in ourselves to protect ourselves but the god of all flesh has been faithful hallelujah hallelujah please lift your hands everyone bless me. my god and my king i thank you for confirming your word in our midst that every time you bring your sons and daughters your word is not scarce in this place lord on behalf of the leadership of this great great family of faith we want to say thank you we are not ungrateful we will never claim to have accomplished anything by our strength for by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail lord we thank you for our precious people everyone that you have trusted and committed by grace we thank you for the transforming power in their lives and their families in their jobs their businesses lord i thank you for the ministers thank you for the heads of department the escorts in every department the workers the faithful priceless workers we have in this place motivated by revelation i thank you for everyone lord you have protected us on the road in the air you have protected all our members biking every week you have preserved them we've not had to bury anybody on the bike lord we thank you thank you for financial supplies oh god we have enjoyed abundance beyond our level of obedience in the name of the lord jesus thank you for vision thank you for wisdom thank you for grace thank you for the quality of word and revelation that you have brought forth in our midst thank you for the manifestation of the fivefold ministry in this place thank you because the church is built and equipped thank you because this is a place of genuine hunger and thirst for your kingdom lord we give you praise this is december the 21st you have helped us lord we return thanks as a family of faith we return thanks in the presence of satan and the holy angels and everyone as witnesses we return thanks because the desires of our enemies have not prevailed this year you have caused us to prosper you have blessed us you have increased us on all sides oh god you have blessed us you've granted us the grace to grow 
and have a balanced spiritual growth we thank you we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah god bless you please sit down quickly hallelujah how many of you are excited i am praise god now um tuesday is christmas hallelujah and we're excited we celebrate christmas praise god let me say one more time we celebrate christmas it's not a ritual it's a revelation hallelujah but i just want to give us three reasons i'm speaking very briefly on the significance of christmas i got to discover that many believers even tongue-talking christians the only thing they know is what happened on christmas they don't know the significance you ask them what happened on christmas they say a virgin gave birth to a baby called jesus the savior of the world period and full stop how does that relate to us praise god so i want to give us three reasons so that in the euphoria of the celebration we can draw back and contemplate on these thoughts very quickly three reasons why every believer should number one celebrate christmas but much more celebrate christmas with revelation what is the significance of christmas if they call you in your fellowship at home or anywhere and they say you have attended koinonia we hear god is doing great things please give us a brief exhortation on christmas you're not going to stand and say well uh, there were shepherds there were angels mary gave birth jesus didn't die that's all that cannot be all hallelujah the significance of christmas number one or before i i begin i want you to write that christmas is all about jesus all not some all about jesus when you substitute jesus with any other thing father christmas um whatever it is those things are wonderful but christmas is all about jesus i love um publicities that says jesus is the reason for the season i believe that with all my heart because right now in the western world they are trying to remove the concept of jesus out of christmas i hope you know that so they just say season's greeting please don't send any card with season's greeting merry christmas and a prosperous new year they are not the same you can't say season's greeting season's greeting for who there are many seasons but there is a season called christmas there are many things that are celebrated the day bin laden died the day polio came to the world the day everything's happened so we have to celebrate jesus christ he's not a founder of a movement he's the giver of life hallelujah so jesus is the reason for the season significance of christmas number one every time we approach the christmas season every true believer should bear the following in mind number one christmas should remind us of jesus as the light of the world that's the first revelation we should know jesus as the light of the world jesus as the light of the world praise god he came to model a path for us he came to give us a picture of what the believers walk in the earth should be he came to be the light the bible says in him was life john 1 and that life was the light of men hallelujah matthew chapter 4 says verse 16 he says the people who were once in darkness have now seen a great light light stands for direction light stands for illumination light stands for knowledge so jesus came first to be a portrait of the intention of the father the portrait of how a believer is supposed to walk in the kingdom that's why when he was born he didn't just die he lived for 33 years 
modeling a life the bible says that we should follow in his steps hallelujah so number one significance of christmas is that it should remind us of jesus as the light of the world the light of the world means that he came to model a pathway the bible says in thy light we see light so he came he came to create a pattern for the believer because they were walking in darkness and he brought light he brought the knowledge of the father the knowledge of the kingdom life to the believer the knowledge the characteristic feature of the kingdom he came to give us a reorientation about the kingdom life hallelujah and in response to this revelation we are supposed to respond as believers by different activities that will bring the lost to jesus christ the revelation as jesus as light reveals him also as the light that brings men out of darkness the bible says we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son the kingdom of light hallelujah so as a christian you respond to this revelation by your evangelical outreaches you try to find certain things you can do that will bring people into the knowledge of the truth that way you are responding correctly to the merriment of christmas so when we have carols for instance there used to be what a few denominations still practice it what they call it nine lessons or carol of nine lessons and people come very wonderful programs that bless people remind people of of certain things songs that remind us of the light we used to sing a song there is a candle in every soul some brightly burning you don't know the song you see hallelujah that time some of you were still in darkness <laughs> jesus as the light of the world he came to show us the way and the bible says ye say i am the light say it i am the light so you celebrate the christmas first with the revelation that jesus came as the light and then in response that you have now become the light so it's an opportunity to share jesus christ it's an opportunity to give people access to quality christian materials you can bless people with books that can enlighten them you are responding to the revelation of jesus as light say amen, amen. it's a time to support mission agencies agencies that are there preaching the gospel ensuring that lives are changed there are many mission agencies genuine mission agencies who don't eat the money that are given for missions capro you have a, a number of of, of very quality evangelical ministries and mission agencies it's the time to say oh i'm sowing a seed of five thousand to support the missionaries you are partnering with that revelation of jesus as the light of the world hallelujah you really see that many people do not celebrate christmas in a quality way from a kingdom's perspective once it's december what people are trying to think is how much do you have let's gather and buy this cow I have 50k you can call this guy said 20 you can call 70 say let's bring it together there's one small cow we can get in giwa and now that's that's what we are thinking about that's what is brewing in our mind are you using local rice or uncle ben's now but this is the revelation that the bible gives us thank god for all of those things but we must first have a revelation that is not a celebration of just a ceremony it's a celebration of a man and an assignment an agenda a revelation and number one is jesus as the light of the world so your christmas is not complete if somebody does not get born again through you your christmas is not complete if someone is not filled with the holy ghost through you your christmas is not complete some of you have friends around why don't you have a, a little bible study group just for two days make zobo and make cake or something let the people come or gather the children in your community 
do something that presents you as the light hallelujah number two christmas is a time where we remember jesus an ex as an expression of god's love to mankind jesus as an expression the epitome the revelation of god's love for mankind john 3 16 for god so loved mankind so loved the world and he proved his depth of love by giving his only son jesus and he said whosoever will believe in him will not perish but have eternal life the gospel is called good news not bad news say good news so every time the gospel is properly presented it should let people see the love of god yes god is a just god yes god is a he's fearful in his holiness but i want you to know that god is love say after me god is love the message of god's love must be taken to the nations when you are building believers when we are teaching you and building you we cannot keep telling you god is love forever you must know other dimensions of god but when you are on the, an evangelical platform the first revelation a sinner needs to know is that god is love that no matter what they have done god does not condemn them he can receive them hallelujah so we must remember jesus as an expression of the love of the father his birth made it possible for him to die if he was not born he will never die is that correct so his birth as we celebrate his birth we remember also that he came on an assignment to die and he did not give up he was a substitute he substituted us in death that we will now live for him in life this is the gospel hallelujah the bible says while we did not even acknowledge him he died for us let's look at one scripture very quickly first john 4 first john 4 first john 4 are you there verse 9 in this was manifested the love of god towards us that means this is what was done to prove that god loved us that god sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him verse 10 herein is love listen not that we love god but that he loved us and sent his son to be a propitiation for our sins and as a result 11 if god so loved us we ought also to what love one another praise god so the revelation of christ as an expression of the love of the father and so christmas is a time when we respond to this revelation by acts of love this is where you give gifts your hampers and everything you visit families you visit friends christmas is not a time when you just sit down and just laugh alone no you are supposed to express it in that you are revealing are you listening to me you are revealing the love of the father the bible says just like christ loved us you visit people who do not deserve your visit certain enemies that you have been nursing from january is the time you go to their house and say oh merry christmas say me i will, I will never buy christmas card buy it write their names hallelujah many of you only have the list of people who have done good for you you have it at the back of your book where the holy spirit speaks to you at the last page you reserved it for all those who have offended you christmas is a time when you x those lists out and say i have love for all men regardless of what they have done as an expression of what christ has done hallelujah when your parents tell you to label greeting cards and your father said don't that man ayuba let me not see you don't write anything the stupid man you say daddy but there is a revelation of jesus i want us to see in this period jesus as an expression of the father's love hallelujah number three 
it should remind us this is very important in the euphoria of celebration and taking capel eva pure heaven and for some of you who take all manner and brands of wine this is just five percent alcohol we believe in the full gospel and the full counsel of god if you have been taking beer repent say i only take during christmas repent repent take it very seriously because some of you your loved ones drink is okay god is working on them but you who are seeing the light come out of that darkness don't say Todd, they forced us we always do insist on the counsel of god don't say i'll drink but i won't be drunk but by now you should know that god is seriously building an army don't make yourself vulnerable to satan hallelujah ladies during christmas that's when the problem of many ladies start they explore things you shouldn't explore in the name of friends in the name of parties and of course there are beautiful christian parties and wonderful get together how do you know a christian party the values of the kingdom are kept no matter the height of the euphoria jesus is still lord when jesus becomes lord from the beginning of the party and becomes something else that's satan i won't keep quiet i won't keep quiet hallelujah because christmas is the time people finish from church and they move around and all kinds of things some of you when you were not born again you know the things you do december and you have a group now you are born again but you are afraid of telling them so as a lady you get they say chick are you dead now you don't come oh yeah those guys are radio they came in from abuja tell them you are the light of the world why do i want to fall my hand it's better to fall your hand than to fall your destiny revelation of christmas hallelujah It's amazing how people can just shift away the things of god one time my father was having his birthday and they went somewhere and had a, a wonderful time a, a, like a buffet and had a nice time and then my father asked someone to pray and some women were offended they said which kind of nonsense is this abba say there is church there are some of you that your friends say that abby don't spiritualize this in pastor let's enjoy ourselves now don't spoil this atmosphere because i did a teaching on the law of atmosphere the guy wants to sleep with this girl and your words are polishing the flesh in him and he cannot he cannot perform what it is that they want to do as a believer you must threaten darkness with your presence are you learning something please if all the parties and everywhere around are bad gather your friends who you know love god come together cook rice enjoy there's frank edwards song it's better than yanni's song spiritually <laughs> many of you don't like what i'm saying but let me tell you the truth this is the cost of being a genuine christian hallelujah you go back and meet a lot of friends and you say me i won't drink but i'll contribute to buy the beer the bible says, blessed is the man he didn't call the man a wicked man who does not walk in the way of the wicked nor stands in the way of sinners nor sits so there is walking standing sitting the bible says, any one of them you belong you are still you are still found wanting don't walk don't stand don't sit say me i just went to visit i'm watching all kinds of things get out of there hallelujah you watch a guy doing all kinds of things with a lady in the name of love and they have no respect they are at the beach doing all kinds of ungodly things you are sitting there before you know it the bible says lord settled near sodom he didn't enter sodom when abraham told him choose a land lord this is sodom this is lord where did abraham go and find lord how did he start moving you see let me tell you something lord settled near sodom 
later he was in the middle of Sodom and the people even wanted to sleep with the angel you, you see that's, that's the state of depravity that's the absence of the ministry of the Holy Spirit in a man's life don't allow yourself to be a victim of this thing because you see let me tell you something with people in the world people in the world are so bold at doing things that are evil a guy can walk up to you and say I want to sleep with you and you are like Jesus Christ so you are in an environment that has been so Christianized the Holy Ghost has given us a sense of order and decorum you can't even mention some things and now here somebody just talks to you and they say what do you have to say I remember traveling one time and, and there was a white man and he was telling me he was so happy and so bold he was telling me the beer he likes he said, Kai, he likes this beer. He said, which one is my own? <laughs> he didn't even say, do you drink? He said, which one is my own? And you can trust that I made God proud in that meeting. Although we didn't talk again. See, don't use everything as an opportunity. Don't just say, me, I don't like it. That's not the gospel. You have not preached. Use the opportunity and say, I belong to a kingdom. And there is a modus operandi in our kingdom we live by kingdom values don't waste opportunities they may mock you but let me tell you the truth is only if you have not seen the light of god's word 10 years to come that same person will come for your meeting and be sitting in the overflow because he didn't listen to what you are saying so christmas reminds us of jesus christ as our soon coming king say after me soon coming king it's my pleasure to announce to you one more time after a long time of silence in the church that jesus is still coming soon say it, jesus is coming soon say he's still coming soon in the midst of the noisy messages that try to explain away the coming of jesus let me tell you the truth scripture cannot be broken you must live with eternity in view the Bible says, if our hope is just in this life, we are of all men most miserable. Now, we are not the kind of Christians that just believe, oh, there shouldn't be anything. I mean, don't, don't enjoy yourself. Don't enjoy the blessings of God. No, not at all. Not at all. We had picnics this year. We had all kinds of things. Create the Christian version of whatever you want. I belong to a group in secondary school and one of the group was a rap group that contained most of the bad boys in the school and all the bad and worldly songs we gather them just remove the parts that are too nasty and just put in something they were just looking for an opportunity to do break dance on stage I was part of the group I didn't sing but I played keyboard for them If you want a party create a party that starts with sound prayer not in jesus name amen we don't want to offend anybody look mr man if you are praying pray you better pray all those things that the guys say we don't want to offend anybody when are you going to be proud of the lord what is your concept of jesus christ see let me tell you the truth there are some things that can never happen around me i don't say it to brag this is not ministry If you buy a new car you don't wrap tampoline on it and drive it and say i don't want anybody to see it's your beauty that people see it so why are you afraid of the light he said you cannot light a candle and put it under a bush many of us love god so long as we are shielded by a nice christian environment called koinonia you are okay you are fine but when you step in and see all kinds of people listen let me tell you be bold be bold be bold if it means you separating from your company of your association of primary school students you always celebrate december 26 boxing day ah you just be knocking bottles repent genuinely and take the message of salvation to them jesus is a soon coming king two scriptures very quickly 
Don't get entangled with this world and its vanities. We respond to this revelation by having at least some time of retreat. Please look up. Don't spend all the break in festivities. Even if it's one day, have some time alone and reflect. Are you listening to me? This is how we are training you not just to be spiritual men here, but to be leaders. Hallelujah. You must take a day, even if it's the last one or two days of January. Tell your friends you are not visiting, you are not doing anything. Lock yourself with God and allow his light re-examine you. How many of you know what is called a retreat? Because some of you don't know it, you don't do it. Let me see your hands. Don't say, Abba, who doesn't know? Just lift your hands if you know. If you don't know it, put it down. Those of you who don't have retreats, from today begin to periodically practice retreats. Retreat means retreat from the word. Retreat means go back. Draw back to a solitary place. A secret place. Flog it out with destiny. Hallelujah. Where you deal with certain areas. Where have I been rebellious to the laws of God? Where have I been rebellious to the things of the spirit? Hallelujah. Is someone getting blessed, please? You must take at least a day off to take some time. And then prepare for the year. And say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, 2013 will be a great year. I will obey you like never before. I will walk in your ways like never before. I will see victories in my life like never before. The word of God will come strong and alive in my spirit like never before. Two scriptures. Acts 1 verse 11. Shiva labo We're almost done. Acts 1 11. This was Jesus speaking. Who also said, Ye men, okay, the angels now, when Jesus had gone up, the angels speaking. Who also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heavens? Let's read the remaining together. I want to read. This same Jesus who is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. So say after me, Jesus is coming back. Yes, he is. Revelation 3 verse 11. I feel God is cleaning some hearts in this place this night. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take your crown. Hallelujah. He said, hold fast what you have. So as you celebrate Christmas, in the merriment, as you eat the turkey, as you eat the chicken, as you travel around, as you have fun, as families meet together, do not forget these three things, the significance of Christmas. One, that is about Jesus Christ as the light of the world and as a result you should reflect that light in your life you can carry some koinonia messages and just go and distribute it to your friends who probably would not listen to you it can be a seed you are sowing as the light you can buy a few books and bless certain people with it as a gift number two jesus as the expression of the father's love for mankind and you must take that message of God's love in your life and as you speak it. Do good to people. Don't gather everything for yourself in the Christmas. Find a way of blessing someone. Even if it's the little children that are in your community, they always stand. And when you are going to go an empty trash can, you see them coming to pick certain things and they are eating and you are smiling. Why don't you surprise them and do something? Why don't you buy one mudu of rice and say, I'll surprise these children? hallelujah and put everything in in uh, pack away take away a uh, can and call the children and tell them this is an expression of the love of jesus for you they may be laughing it may just cost you a thousand naira to do it but i tell you you have you are, see celebrate christmas in a way that will make heaven clap for you hallelujah you can send a post online from your facebook page and just say jesus is lord share with people what he has done in your life and let them know he can do the same thing you can send a message of hope to people 
I used to write letters and send to my friends. I, I, when I say letters, I mean epistles. Not, how are you? How was today? What did you eat? No, no. Send things. Beautiful epistles. And I'll, I'll stamp them. And, and I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll clip them and send it to my friends. Many of you may need to give hope to someone. A lady who probably thinks all is out. She has been involved in everything you can think about. Jesus has the expression of the Father's love. Everybody is laughing at hand, doing everything. You may be that hand that can reach out and say, at Christmas. That's why I thank God for people like the Salvation Army. We don't have those kinds of organizations in Nigeria because most people are, are, are greedy and self-centered people. How many of you will do something to bring glory to the name of the Lord? See, take responsibility as a Christian. Let this be, maybe for some of you, your first Christmas that you didn't just receive a loan, but you gave. Many of you already say, ah, Christmas, my father's workplace, they will bring cow, they will bring palm oil, they will bring rice. Thailand, when are you going to do something for somebody else? Even if it is to call little children around, buy some toys, let them play, let them jump on your bed, let them do everything. And let them know that Jesus reigns. If you can celebrate Christmas that way, let me tell you, you will have a fruitful Christmas. And it's a very prophetic way for preparing for the year ahead. How many of you believe this? Significance of Christmas. So let this be a Christmas that you will celebrate with revelation. Not just one that you just eat and have merriment. There are many people who say, well, this Christmas said, let, let, next, let next year come. Why won't you make your Christmas kingdom driven and meaningful? Many of you may be the first of different people to gather your family together. Maybe 31st of December. Maybe 1st of January. Just go and meet your father and your mother. Just gather them together and say, let's just pray and speak into the family. The father say, I'm busy. You say, no, daddy, there is a principle of speaking into her. The truth is, God has given many of you honor before your loved ones. You have not taken certain bold steps. Many of you, your parents have come to respect you because they have seen the light of God. And you know if you initiate a move like this, it will work. Save your family from catastrophe. Don't say, I know our father. If you gather everybody now, they'll start saying the wrong things they did from January. Can't you just absorb whatever it is and receive it and communicate what God has? Do something for Jesus. Do something for Jesus. One of the ministries that I admire their passion towards the things of the kingdom is Christ's embassy. They have such an unparalleled zeal. They go all out hallelujah and do different things for the kingdom don't just celebrate your christmas for yourself and you alone and you and one of your friends and you are smiling mm -mm. say i will do something for the kingdom say i'll do something for the kingdom on your facebook page by revealing the love of god to your loved ones concentrate on your family many of you you are the evangelist that god is sending right now to your family some of you are traveling to the village go and dethrone principalities and powers some of you your the people in your community there's one gathering that they do and there is spare one hour that is wasted take advantage of that one hour tell them you have something to do even if it's a special number just say i have something and trust god for it say but god will you move will people be blessed don't go and disgrace me no no i'm telling you stand and speak with authority and you will see the grace and the hand of god say i will do it say it after me i will do it for his majesty and let me remind you once again you must take some time to retreat at least a day you can wait upon the lord in a fast you may just take fruits say fruits christmas or you can eat whatever you want to eat just wait have some time and say lord i've been living my life without direction 
or i just got born again will you order my steps into 2013 order my steps i don't just want to wait for many of you in your churches and ministry crossover night and hear the prophetic word that your different men of god will bring but lord i want to get something for myself hallelujah praise the lord by the grace of god 31st will send a prophetic word for the year now let me tell you something i've had people criticize prophetic words and they are worth being criticized if the man of god was just crossing his legs and searched through the net what the holy ghost is saying and just saw something the year of vision he just said now thus said the lord is the year of vision or is the year of double promotion or whatever it is but where people stay with the holy spirit the bible says without vision the people cast off restraint prophetic word is very useful because although god exists in eternity at every season he governs people with a prophetic blueprint of what he is doing praise god now i know it has been abused many men of god are under pressure they now call their mentors or their fathers or their harbourists or their whatever and say, what do you think is going to happen? They say, just say it's a year of uh, uh, lifting, lifting. They just write, produce banners, lifting, produce this, lifting, or, pro or that. But that when, when the word is hard and believed, I'm telling you, if you tap into it, you will see that dimension of God. Prophetic word for many ministries is what God will do for them. For us it's not just what god will do for us it's what god is doing are you listening to me it's not just what we will receive from god but how we are going to align the emphasis and the focus of the spirit for that season hallelujah praise the lord so we'll send words when you get it pray on it believe it and begin to run with it hallelujah rise up on your feet Hallelujah. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and worship Him. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you. Thank you, my Lord, for your kindness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for your favor. Thank you, Jesus. going to pray and speak over your life hallelujah but I want us to pray in one minute and say Lord make me useful to my environment during this Christmas that I'll celebrate this Christmas with revelation lift your voice and pray make sure you are praying say Lord I avail myself to be a tool be it through outreaches through tracts evangelical materials as I celebrate oh God I will have testimonies for my family I will celebrate Christmas like unbelievers I reflect on Jesus being the light of the world an expression of the love of, of the Father and as the soon coming King pray and say Lord I avail myself I receive grace to say no to anything that is ungodly hallelujah hallelujah i want you to know that 
2013 is a great year. Honestly, I know for many of you, God has begun to speak certain things. It's a very strange and a unique year. Hallelujah. So I want you to believe in what God is doing. Your best is yet to come. Believe me, I'm telling you. This is a year. This year has been a preparatory year for certain awesome levels of glory that we'll see. How many of you believe that? Hallelujah. You're going to pray and say, Lord, if I saw January till now, my eyes will witness 2013. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I'm not burying any loved one in my family and I will not die. Pray because there's wickedness on the road, on the streets. Say, Lord, I'm separated from the arrows that fly by day. The noise so pestilence. Pray and say, Lord, I am safe on the road, safe on the air, safe in the morning, safe in the afternoon. No accident, no armed robbery. Pray, no bomb blasts. I am protected by the mighty hands of God. I am protected. I have no covenant with death. I choose life. Please take this prayer point seriously. I choose life. My eyes will see 2013 and I will rejoice with the living. I choose life for myself and my loved ones. I choose life. Are going to be traveling on the road. I choose life. We are separated from robbers. I refuse to fear because I've been given dominion and authority over the works of God's hands. Declare it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of you. May be wondering and say, ah, why are we speaking? Let me tell you something about speaking. One scripture. Don't, don't turn there because of time. Job 13 verse 19. Listen. Job said, who is he that will plead with me? For now, if I hold my tongue, I shall die. That's what Job said. Job said, if I hold my tongue, I shall die. Job 13 verse 19. Who is he that will plead with me? For now, if I hold my tongue, I shall die. We don't just talk irrationally. We are speaking out of revelation. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are going to speak and say, Lord, I left Zaria to my destination healthy. It's not in an ambulance that will bring me back into 2013. Lift your voice and pray. No sickness. No accident. Pray for your children. Pray for your family members. Some of them are coming. Some of you are going to the village. You know the wickedness that prevails in your villages. Say in the name of Jesus. I'm above every curse. No death. No sickness, nothing broken, nothing missing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point, you're going to say, Lord, listen. There are some of you that God has vowed to bless you and take you into certain realms. Between now and 31st, you're going to say, Lord, I count you faithful. And I contend. There's no prophecy that was made for 2012. Are you listening to me? 
that will enter and be aborted into 2013 you are going to pray there are certain things god has told you he will do with your family certain blessings and breakthrough lift your voice and say even now oh god you are faithful even now oh god lift your voice even now oh god for your family members pray god has vowed to promote them god has vowed to increase them god has vowed to terminate quarreliness god told you before the end of your, the year your sister will find her husband your brother will find his wife some of your family members will get jobs it has not happened but god created the heavens and the earth in seven days say lord even now even now go ahead and pray many of you are building and there's just a little push and god told you you would dedicate the house in 2012 say lord even now even now i believe there are certain realms in the spirit god told you you will walk in certain financial realms certain realms in wisdom say lord even now blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance say lord i may not see the wind i may not see rain but i know the folly shall be filled lord we believe you hallelujah hallelujah i want to pray for you part of the ministry of the priests in ancient time was to speak prophetic blessings over the people many of you do not know the power of prophecy and the power of releasing a word on people many people trivialize it i tell you believe it when jacob blessed when isaac blessed jacob he didn't give him money he didn't give him anything he left a prophetic word that provoked the heavens to shake on his behalf hallelujah i believe that we are anointed and called of god and i believe that if you will believe you will carry a blessing hallelujah praise the lord please lift your hands thank you jesus i pray for you right now in the name of jesus That you will experience unusual doors of favor yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ yeah. I declare that every reproach over your life and over your family is rolled forever in the name of Jesus I pray for you that any sickness any disease and infirmity in your body that has defied anything I cross it to its root in the name of Jesus I declare in the name of Jesus that whatever causes God to take a man from nothing and make him something I pray that the God of Israel the one who has taken ordinary men may God lift you in a matter of days and exalt you I speak over your family in the name that is above all names whatever it is that has made them cry the God of Israel the God that can do what no man can do may God wipe the tears of your family members permanently in the name of Jesus hallelujah I pray for you in the name of Jesus that these hands that are lifted I anoint you to do wonders yeah. wonders yeah. in the name of the Lord Jesus yeah. I command that you have a mouth and a wisdom that no enemy will be able to resist nor can say I command that your presence threatens darkness in the name of the Lord Jesus I call you the blessed I call you the blessed I call you the blessed 
above every cause above every ancestral statement i deliver you from the scourging tongues of men in the name of jesus they will not prevail against you in the name of jesus i take the hands of death above your life in the name of jesus christ you are favored you are blessed you are lifted you are distinguished in the name of jesus the ornament of glory comes upon you and isaac blessed jacob and said the smell of my son is like the field that the lord has blessed let a fragrance of honor come upon you in the name of the lord jesus and david said is there any man of the house of saul that i may show him kindness and although mephibosheth was a crippled man favor brought him i pray in the name of jesus that within these two weeks you will enter fearful realms and dimensions of favor my god do it for you my god do it for you in the name of the lord jesus i pray for fearful financial blessings in the name that is above all names i speak and i program your spirit man i command enter 2013 with a dimension of prosperity you cannot explain i tell you if you believe it you will see it i tell you if you believe it you will see it i call strangers to bless you i provoke strangers let them call your parents i provoke it from the west from the east i provoke it i provoke it strangers unusual wealth and prosperity i invoke it according to the measure of grace hallelujah whatever has been a source of division and fighting and quarreling in your family many of you get home only to fight in the name that is above all names i speak over you an end comes to the division in your family i don't care why he came an end comes an end comes and every strange woman who will not let your father concentrate in his family or every strange man who will not let your sisters and brothers i break that relationship from the realm of the spirit i break it from the realm of the spirit i break it from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus hallelujah all the people that come and distract your parents so that they won't bless you you are praying you are walking other people are coming all in the name of uncles people from the village may my god give your parents wisdom may god give them wisdom may god give them wisdom i pray for fathers right now because fathers are a real problem to many people in the family i pray who says he cannot change the heart of a king is in the hands of the lord and like the waves of the sea he will turn it change i prophesy upon the stony heart of your fathers change in the name of jesus they will love your mother they will love you may god expose those who have given bad reports may god expose the hands of wicked people all those who come to intrude with the welfare and the progress of your family i command that god will expose them forever yeah. hallelujah hallelujah i pray there are some of your families every year by this time you will go to the village and your parents renew all kinds of godless ordinances that keep granting satan access to your family i pray in the name of jesus in the name that is above all names that you are going as an agent of change we release you as an agent of change we release you as an agent of change for those of you who don't have the grace to say no to sin no to immorality no to every kind of wickedness that happened during festive seasons let an anointing come upon you to say no in the name of jesus let an anointing come upon you to say no in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah 
may the lord bring a blessing in your family that will be too big to it will reconcile every division no matter what the issue is may god bring a blessing that will bring everybody together every plan of the enemy over your life that satan has vowed that you will not smile during this christmas i command in the name of the lord jesus christ that this will be the greatest christmas celebration you have had in your life in the mighty name of jesus one of the things the lord told me is that many people are going to carry favor i have said this thing every time i say it many people don't believe it favor this favor thing many of you are yet to explore what the favor of god is the favor of god the favor of god once again i speak it into your life i speak favor into your life may god give you favor may god give you favor may god give you favor let it rub off on you may god give you favor let it speak everywhere you go men who don't like you will still bless you men who don't like you will still bless you they will know what has come upon them they will bless you they will bless you i prophesy it i prophesy it i send this word to your atmosphere i create a prophetic atmosphere for this world to thrive it will not return until you have a testimony in the name of jesus we pray for the families that have your if you have any of your loved ones sick lift your hands enough is enough enough is enough for god's sake any one of your loved ones sick in the name that is above all names we pray right now that the same power that raised christ jesus from the dead let that power invade your house in the name of jesus barrenness because forever barrenness because forever barrenness because forever barrenness because forever in the name of jesus every terminal disease let it be caused to its root in the name of jesus all those who are bedridden i command that at your sight and at your presence they will jump up from that bed i tell you you will testify they will jump up from that bed we cause cancer we cause high blood pressure we cause hiv we cause blindness partial paralysis if it has a name let it bow in the name of jesus and i speak over the house i speak to the ground if i be a servant of the lord jesus christ i speak to this ground i command the bible says out of the earth comes bread i speak to this ground in the name of jesus let it provoke a blessing to your life job said in six things will you be delivered yea in seven things he said in a time of famine you will laugh he said you shall be delivered from the scourging tongues he said because you have made a covenant with the stones if your eyes can see sand no one will kill you in that place except there is no sand on the floor if your eyes can see sand i declare no man will take your life the lord deliver you in the day of trouble may the lord answer for you may his word speak for you in the name of jesus any one stranger roaming around your house that is involved in occultic activities before you get home we drive them out of your house out of your house out of your house out of your house in the name of jesus we command salvation for your loved ones impossible salvations let them happen in the name of jesus take an unusual unction of the spirit take an unusual anointing take it home do 
wonders. I tell you, heal the sick, cast out devil, raise the dead. Don't sympathize. No, change stories. Don't sympathize with your loved ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 2013 is going to be a very powerful year. Believe me, a very powerful year. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every miracle every manifestation of the spirit you have seen here in the lives of the ministers i declare go and reproduce it wherever you go go and reproduce the prophetic go and reproduce the apostolic go and reproduce the evangelistic go and reproduce pastoral grace go and reproduce the teaching grace in the name of the lord jesus if you ever saw one minister of the gospel here whatever you saw go and do it Whatever you saw, I release it from the bowels of the spirit. Whatever you saw on stage, if you saw miracles, go and produce it. If you saw quality delivery, go and reproduce it. If you saw word of knowledge, go and reproduce it. miracle service for this year please talk to the Lord we're going to be very brief tonight very sharp Proverbs 23, very quickly, just one prophetic word and we'll go into the business of the night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's just a prophetic word for somebody tonight and then we will get into the business of the night. I tell you, God will do mighty things in this place tonight. Mighty. You see, the character of God is such that his power is greatest as the end of all things. Hallelujah. Verse 18. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It says, for surely there is an end. This is the first prophetic word for someone tonight. Take note, I'm under a very heavy unction. I'm not just making empty noise. Listen to me. Don't be fooled by what you are seeing. I'm under a very heavy unction tonight. For surely there is an end. For surely there is an end. For surely, no matter how long it stays, there is an end. Kataka kabakata. Rento sote kalakata over that terminal disease surely there is an end 
over that marital delay surely there is an end the word of god says surely surely it may have taken so long surely if god be god surely there is an end Surely there is an end to poverty. Surely there is an end to weeping. Surely there is an end to disappointment. Surely there is an end to sorrow. There is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end to that weeping. Surely it will not continue being like this forever. Surely you will not be buried forever. Surely you will not be jobless forever. Surely there is an end. There is an end. If it had a beginning, it has an end. If it had a beginning, surely there is an end to that cancer. Surely there is an end to HIV. Surely there is an end to the assaults of darkness over your life. Surely, surely there is an end. There is an end. It does not last forever. There is an end. I'm bringing you a prophetic word. There is an end. No, you won't die with it. There is an end. You've been writing jam for so long. There is an end. You've been writing wayek for long. There is an end. Brothers and sisters, surely there is an end. There is nothing created by man that does not end. There is an end. There is an end. Hallelujah. There is an end. But there is only one responsibility on your own part. The Bible says, and your expectation. Your expectation. Not your assumptions. Not your grumblings and complainings. Not your discouragements. He said, your es all God needs is your expectation. He doesn't want any noise, no grumbling and say, Lord, I came here January. I came here February. He said, all I need tonight is your expectation. For surely... If you have an expectation, there is an end. Hallelujah. Habakkuk chapter 2. Don't turn there. The Bible says, listen. It says, do the vision tarry. Do the vision tarry. Things are permitted to tarry, but they are not permitted to remain forever. It says, though the vision tarry, not at the beginning, not at the middle. It says, in the end, it must speak. Though it tarries, that little boy was born. And there was a prophecy over his life that he would be the savior of the world. It took 30 years. Though the vision tarried, at the end, it spoke. Though the vision tarries. The Bible says in the end it shall speak and God shall not and it shall not lie. Why? The Bible says God is not a man that he should lie. Numbers 23 
verse 19 god is not a man that means lying is normal with men it's part of the human predicament but the bible says god is not a man that he should lie he said no he see the son of man that means he is not limited that he can change his words before god makes any statement he looks at his ability whether his ability can sponsor the gravity of that statement and it's on the strength of his ability he speaks thy expectation thy expectation tonight drop whatever impossibilities the worship team led us and we prayed and we sang all God needs tonight is that you say Lord I know you are able are you hearing me this is the one word this is your own part if you can play this part tonight you will walk out with your miracle guaranteed hallelujah see listen let me tell you something listen to me brothers and sisters you see these things that we do are not just a way of doing programs are you getting my point this is a prophetic platform that God puts together so that you can experience the love and the authority that comes with the name of Jesus. Do you believe this? Let me show you one scripture and then I'll begin ministering. Luke 9 verse 1 and 2. I want you to know that diseases and sicknesses are curable. Look at me. If I ask somebody who is short to remove this bulb, the person may not be able to reach there. If you carry a theory and say it's impossible to remove the bulb there, is that true? It was impossible for you, but it does not mean it's impossible. Luke 9, verse 1 and 2. Then he called his 12 disciples. Can you give us an amplified? Kabbalah Kosata. Then he called together the 12 apostles and gave them power and authority over how many? All, All demons. He says, and to cure diseases. What does a drug do? A drug does not heal. It cures. Is that true? Next verse, verse 2. And he sent them out. He gave them power before sending them. And he sent them out to announce and preach the kingdom of God and to demonstrate it by bringing healing. That means their presence comes with it. It's part of the carriage that comes with the grace. He didn't say to heal people. He said to bring healing. To bring it. To bring it. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? I want you to understand the kind of atmosphere because you see the trouble with many believers is that when we try our our human our we are we are very short-lived in patience so when you trust god to heal that cancer and it looks like medically speaking is deteriorating and then you wonder and say master we have told all night we've had this thing again and again but tonight I bring you a word there is an end the Bible says in the end the vision will speak this is December you will not take anything that is supposed to be accomplished this year into next year yeah. next year is a fresh cycle are you getting my point surely there is an end brothers and sisters it does not take time it only takes God ah it doesn't take time it only takes God for when God steps in and stamps his feet upon your situation it will change at once i hear the chains falling
I give the chains falling. Yeah, I give the chains falling to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain to break every chain, break every chain. Chains I need the chains falling. Hallelujah. If you are sick in your body tonight, listen. If you are sick in your body tonight, I want you to prepare to walk out of this place healed. I don't care what you came with. Are you listening to me? prepare to walk out of this place listen no matter how small it is don't give excuses no matter even if it is headache even if it's your hair falling content tonight and say lord this is december i would have been quiet if it was september but this is december there is no other 2013 again there is an end hallelujah the last day is the day when everyone can partake. He said, Jesus said on the third day, if any man thirst, the last day is the day for everyone. Hallelujah. We are going to take instant miracles in this place. Instant miracles. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? So I want you to have expectation as we begin to pray and as the word begins to come shake up that sickness check yourself do what you couldn't do before listen 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 see brothers and sisters we are not faking this thing you are seeing are you are you getting what i'm saying well, this thing we are not faking it what do we have to gain to come and stand here and just be acting we are not faking this thing so you had better believe don't just let your neighbor rejoice. If it was Joshua Selman who was doing this thing in my own strength, I'll tell you just go home because I'm wasting your time. Oh, but there is a name. John said there is one mightier than I. Mightier. There is a government that backs what you see happening. And tonight, we want to let every devil in hell know that we arrived December and we must finish strong. Hallelujah. You're going to rise up and we'll pray just for five minutes. And in that prayer, you're going to say, Lord, visit me. I will clap for my neighbor. But after I receive my own, whatever you came here with tonight, lift your voice and begin to pray. No matter how impossible it is, take your eyes, take your eyes, please. Take your eyes away from any impossibility. Yes, Lord, you are able. Yes, Lord, you are able. Pray. Say, Lord, that cancer will go. That barrenness will go. Believe the Lord. Believe the Lord. In Bradas to Padia Ganabaya, a Shalabadabasta, in Bradas to Padia Capataste, Lake Tegadabosta, Lake Padia Ladabosta, Lepa Tapa Hallelujah. Refuse to go back the same. Some of us came from end to end of this nation. You can't travel all the way in the air on the road and just come and enjoy and go. No, no. Tell yourself I'm coming to get something. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I want to encourage us, especially for those of us who are sick. It's important to respond to the prophetic word. Do what you cannot do. And please, when you, there will be all kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds. Not just healings. Hallelujah. Even those who will be delivered. Don't you think you are just falling for nothing? Something will happen to you. Hallelujah. Many of us, even as the meeting is going, we're going to be receiving words from our loved ones that things are happening, things are changing. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid and don't be ashamed. This is the last service. We really have to be very fast. I'm saying this because we may not have all the time again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you ready for what God will do in your life? You do not want to know the amount of prayer and fasting and travail that goes into these meetings. Don't let these suits deceive you. Hallelujah. Father, glorify yourself tonight. Let no man, let no man take the glory. Tonight, I ask you, your people are in pains. Your people are in tears. Their family members are dying. They are being eaten up by diseases and sicknesses. And Lord, if you do not step in tonight, there is nothing we can do. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee. O Israel, mm. thank you, Jesus. Blessing, blessing, blessing. There is a lady by the name Blessing. I'm hearing the Lord is ministering to me, blessing. Please, if I just call your case, let's just hurry up very quickly so that we save time. Blessing. Shall come to thee, O Israel. Jesus. to pray for you look at me where's your mother we need to pray for her that that which the devil purpose will not come to pass rejoice rejoice he man well shall come to thee oh he Father, step in into the mother's life and change things right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let everything that is not of God be changed right now in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands on your stomach and I pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. Out now! Shall come to thee, O Israel. Hallelujah. My dear, this you. You must let her go in the name of Jesus Christ.
Father, let every infirmity, darkness, let this, let it leave her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. All the other people, God bless you in Jesus' name. We have to rush. Praise God. I believe in casting out devils. No advancement, no technology will confuse us. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because at the root of many people's situations, even what you think is sickness, the power of God is present. Bring them out. That devil of darkness. Listen. Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he says, I am come that ye may have life. Hallelujah. The Bible says, upon Mount Zion, certain things will happen. He said there will be holiness. And then there will be deliverance. And after that, the way will be cleared and the sons of Jacob will now possess their possessions. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the devil is going to bow tonight. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every Sing it once from your heart. One more time from the place of your heart. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. I don't need to begin to explain myself again but I told you causes exist yokes exist there are people carrying them today who have been deceived that nothing is going nothing is wrong but on account of what Christ has done our job tonight is to stamp it by the power of the Holy Ghost so right now we are going to set on fire everything that has not been planted by God hallelujah I want you to get ready because the Bible says surely there is an end it says for surely there is an end if it had a beginning it has an end rise up on your feet everyone Hush. hallelujah praise the Lord see the power of God will shake many of us inside and outside to the foundations until everything that does not look like him leave. Are you getting me? There is, there is fire in this place, especially for those outside. We are going to count three and we will shout that name, Jesus. I want you to get ready. At the shout of that name, not just for you, hallelujah, not just for you alone but for your loved ones whatever will not let you go this night must go for you hallelujah are you ready now thank you jesus christ see i'm telling you i see a lot of oppression especially outside a lot of oppression this is why god has sent us bible says he gave them authority he gave them power said through who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness hallelujah lift your hands everybody at the count of three i want you to shout listen these are the things that limit people these are the things that limit destiny and tonight god has brought us so that we can experience his power hallelujah
There's fire in this place. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Inside and outside. The overflow here and the other one there. Shout Jesus at the count of three. And at the mention of that name, let's see the power that will stand. Hallelujah. Tonight is your night of liberty. Bring them out, please. Ushers, be sensitive. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Let your power move across this place, inside and outside. I confront gates and doors and altars and yokes and everything that is not of God. The presence of God is here. And in the mighty name of Jesus, it will bow. Are you ready now? One. Two. Three. Let God's people go. Go, 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 go. Every foul devil. Every wicked spirit. Inside and outside. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Shake it, 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 it. Rekoto kata. Maka prosko posha. Embre teke te. Lekoto sote kata. Seke te 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 ta. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let God's people go now. Are you ready to shout one more time? Are you ready to shout one more time? At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, every altar of darkness, I set on fire outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God. Move outside with the third principality. We command an exodus. We command liberty. Let God's people go by the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. Hallelujah. 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 Now we are going to pray. Listen. This one is not just you right now, but your family members. Hallelujah. Many of you, what will happen to you now will be the power of God challenging the things that camouflage themselves in your family. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Don't tell me there's nothing going wrong. Don't let the devil confuse you, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name again. There are a lot of people outside, especially from this first overflow. A lot of people outside. Listen, if you love your family members, I'd like you to stand. Stand for them. This is the root problem that disguises itself. It, it may have different names. He said the enemy has done this. Don't let technology confuse you. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Are you ready now? Lift your hands please. Jesus, thank you. My God, there will be a mighty wave of the Spirit. All you need to do for me is to flash the symbol. Are you ready now? 
at the count of three with all your heart my god let your power move representing families with dethroned yokes in the name of jesus one two three Go-pro-kotos. families be free families be free I challenge altars, yokes, Koproskopa, tying down families, tying down families. I command, lose them now, lose them now. Every enchantment, every divination. Now, we lose, we lose by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We lose. Go proskopata, embretokote, rekeskoba, marekotosota, ekretoskoba karia, mambretoskoposko, For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Heal the sick. Cast out devils. Now every foul spirit afflicting these people at the count of three time up you must go one two three go 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 on your mark set go 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 now go 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 don't waste that time go out of them and go now there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Bring her, don't worry, I'll shut the name of Jesus. Bring her to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Just bring her here. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Bring her. Don't waste our time. Go. Leave her. Leave her. Go. Now. Help. That's the end. Go. We don't have all of that time to waste. We have to do a lot of things. Hallelujah. Listen. There are two people outside 
ushers, I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves. The power of God will pick them and bring them inside. Right now. It will happen right now. Two people outside. Please just guide them so they don't injure themselves. Right now. Let the angel that confirms the word of the Lord right now by the power of the Holy Ghost two people outside I hear the chains falling I hear the chains falling I hear the chains falling hallelujah now listen listen hallelujah you had a dream please listen to me you had a dream and the snake a snake beat you on your left leg a dream it was in a dream but it was very real please who is that person please let's save them come out quickly you're a guy come out quickly you're a guy let's hurry up if you're still thinking about it go back to your seat snake beat you on your left leg Praise the Lord. Now, there is a lady here. Please listen. There is a lady here. You hear voices and they speak to you. This has happened for a long time. I mean real voices. Evil voices, I mean. Now, not the voice of the spirit. In fact, it's one of the things that has bothered you. You've shared it with a friend. Please, who is that? Very quickly. Very quickly. Come very quickly. I'm just flowing by the spirit right now. I give the chains falling, falling. I give the chains falling. Lump in the left breast has just been healed. Lump in the left breast. The Lord is healing someone. Please check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Lump in the left breast just got healed right now. Hallelujah. Brother, hold my hands. Whatever has not been planted by God leaves you now. Look at me. Look at me. Your spiritual life. You see, the Bible says, He that breaks the hedge, the serpent will strike. Your spiritual life must be on fire. I give the chains. Please hold my hands. Let her go now. Thou devil. Come out. I see you in the spirit. Out. I give the chains falling. Look at me, my dear. Jesus will set you free. Okay? You believe that? Hold my hands. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let her be free right now from those demonic voices. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your stomach. We cancel that report. You will never hear any report of fibroid or growth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my dear. Look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. You want to be very serious with him because this is what the Lord is asking. It's not just the issue of healing and miracle. You see, listen, God is not a magician. It's not somebody you just run to, collect miracle and run and go back to do your life. My dear, the lady standing behind the two ladies with yellow, lift your hands. You, just lift your hands and look at me. How dare you defy the presence of God? How dare you defy the presence of God? Mm. For he will give us the eyes of eagles. Now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you are going right now. For I've seen you in the spirit. One, two, three. Out of her right now. 
go, 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 go. I see the chains falling. Yeah. I see the chains falling. Hallelujah. God bless you. We have a lot to do. My brother, you love the Lord with all your heart. I want you to know that when you stay in his presence, it melts away every darkness. You must believe this. Hallelujah. You must believe this. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. When he finds himself in you, it becomes a doorway. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. And touch not the unclean thing. I set you free in the name of Jesus. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Please speak to me. I set you free. Now, I want to pray for people with peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Please, peptic ulcer. Just come out quickly. File out here quickly. Please, let's save time. Our brother is wedding tomorrow and we don't want to take too much of their time. While they are coming out, let's appreciate our soon-to-be groom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our brother Jimmy and his wonderful wife-to-be, Hope, wave your hands. Hallelujah. Tomorrow by this time, they'll be happily married, so we really don't have much time. Peptic ulcer. Please come out quickly. Break every chain. We're going to minister to everyone. Just, please, I hope we all have a... Sir, please lift your hands. You. Yes, just lift it high. Look at me. That devil right now, I command to leave you. Just look at me. Just look at me. Right now. Take your hands off his life. Right now. Right now. Come out of him right now. I hear the chains falling. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Please look at me. This is not magic. We are not playing games. This is business tonight. Right? You have a role to play. Your role is to believe God. Forget about me. Are you following me now? Hi. Good to see you. Come. She used to hold my Bible those days. Come now. No. She used to hold light for me. Remember? First and second generation here and I. Third generation, the uh, Jebo people, they wouldn't know. Hallelujah. These were the ladies that went for crusade those days. We were broke, but we had God. So we knew it was just a matter of time. Hallelujah. And then they used to climb the trees to plug firewood. But now most of our ladies, oh, the stove is not good. I want microwave. I'm just joking, but I'm serious. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. That devil is a liar. So I'll start with you. Can I pray for you? Please make sure you have your request. I'm so glad we have a lot of men of God here. I saw Prophet Bab celebrate him. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Manasseh in the house. Celebrate him all the way from Abuja. We're going to do a lot of that, but Pastor Williams is here. Hallelujah. The pastor house on the rock, Kano, is here. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. Jake's all the way from Abuja. Bishop is here. Good to be married. He's just smiling. He has been smiling. Hallelujah. Okay, I see Suleiman. Suleiman is here. And we're happy to have Kenny back, too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. Let's, let's deal with the issues we have now. Praise God. Please, while you're standing there, I want you to be praying, even as we minister to these people. The Lord will heal you now in Jesus' name. It will be very fast because we have a lot of cases to deal with. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah, there is something the Lord is showing me. There is someone is already becoming for you like madness. Madness. Sometimes you start talking or doing things as if you're not in your right mind. Please, if you're here or somebody brought him, immediately we finish, just bring the person out. It's, it's like madness. Hallelujah. It's like madness. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. Lord. 
Holy Spirit, gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, there is healing in your name. And as we worship, and as we worship, I'll be known to you. The Holy Spirit and to touch is blowing Jesus. We believe, we believe Jesus. There is healing in your sick person this is a time to minister to them hallelujah i won't be doing this alone i'm glad we have um a lot of hands and we're going to do that please carry him if you if can't get up just take him and let him lie down somewhere there so that we can have space come just on ha. you won't be mad in jesus name with someone sick please come out quickly please if you came with children if you came with children don't leave them alone just come out with them so that we can minister to them quickly please bring them out worship team you're going to lead us and um, let's have all of them ushers coordinate them hold on what's wrong with her let me just start with her quickly what's the issue hold on while they come, please hurry up. If you came here for healing, just come and line up quickly. What's her issue? Let me just pray for her. I'm very touched seeing her. Who brought her? Huh? She came on her own. Did she tell you she's sick? What's wrong? Hepatitis. That's, that's what is wrong with her now. Or she just fell down. Hold my hands. Mm, I bring you life the power of the kingdom I represent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you are not hepatitis you are a spirit you won't confuse us go now out of her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let her rise up whole just let, let, just let leave her down she'll rise up whole 
Hallelujah. Those of us standing here, I need you to know that there are two great spiritual weapons that are responsible for the release of God's healing. Please listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing comes from the body of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Healing comes from the body of Jesus. But in scripture, there have been two categories of scenarios that compel the healing power of God. Number one, when people acknowledge the lordship of Jesus Christ. Second, when they cried for mercy. God cannot hear mercy and not act. Blind Bartemio said, have mercy on me. The Bible says, it is only for the Lord's mercy. Otherwise, it would have been consumed. He said, I will have mercy. Even favor can happen only when mercy is released. Hallelujah. He said, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. The goal is not mercy. The goal is favor. But without mercy, the favor of God cannot show up. Mercy is not for sinners. It's the character of God that compels his compassion. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do with getting born again. Praise the Lord. Look at these children. Only God knows what is wrong. See my friend with beer, beer cap. Come. Let's start with you. You and your brother. <laughs> Look at them. Turn around. Let's see you wonderful children with their beer caps. You must be healed. In Jesus name. Alright, so I'll invite the men of God. Jakes, Bishop, Manasseh, Ejimi. How about healing the sick and casting out devils on your wedding eve? That's right. Rather than drinking beer and receiving a yoke that you cannot manage. Praise the Lord. Prophet, sir. Please, we're going to minister to them. Just, just direct them. It really doesn't matter who prays for you. Don't just say you must be. No, don't. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Worship team, are you ready? So let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. We will do this very fast. Okay, I'll pray for them. Go ahead. God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. Out of her. God is go, go, go. a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. Yeah. 
you check yourself check yourself a lot of things are happening please stand up everybody Goodness. hallelujah now I'm seeing somebody you're having a burning sensation it comes very strongly especially in the night like your half right side almost the whole of your half right side burning sensation from your chest region down sometimes to your leg please wish that person come out quickly come out quickly come out quickly and then the Lord is showing me someone in fact a number of people you are up to five hallelujah you feel something moving in your body this has happened recurrently sometimes it's so much you even have to turn you feel it literally moving please come out quickly 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 please let's save time That devil must go. You're the one feeling this heat. I'll pray for you right now. Hold my hands. I rebuke stroke. Ah, wow. I rebuke stroke in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it to leave you once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ. Moving objects, it will go right now. You, okay, hold my hands. Look at me. I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. going to pray for you now everything that is not of God must bow the Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit it says glorify God in your body hallelujah daddy what's who brought him he came by himself what's the issue sir moving object of my body moving object you can imagine a man like this and the devil just comes that wicked devil daddy the Lord Jesus sets you free Please hold my hands. This is the spirit of death. This is not moving object. I am the resurrection and the life, Jesus says. So we bring you life from the kingdom that we represent. Satan, take your hands off his body. Blessed is he who comes Let your health and vitality be restored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. We may not have time to minister to you one by one. Just hold your hands together and I'll pray for you. All those in this category. So I can just use one person as a point of contact. Hallelujah. What happened to you? You had what? An accident. When? You enjoyed yourself. What did the doctor say happened to you? Okay, and they treated it. But your healing is well. The Lord will accelerate everything. That devil is a liar. Hmm? 
Thank you, Jesus. Father, I use my brother as a point of contact to all of these people. Right now, every devil of darkness that parades itself as moving objects in their body, I command you now, in the name of Jesus Christ, off you go, this moment. Right now, in the name of Jesus, set God's people free. I command that movement stops in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the movement stops. You will never have it again because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It belongs to the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat very quickly. I'm seeing a woman. I'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease. This is what the Lord is showing me. I'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease. I believe he's the mother of somebody here. Um, where? Where is she? She's at home. You stood in for her. You believe Jesus will heal her. She will be healed in Jesus' name. Can I use you as a point of contact? Lift your hands. Something's moving, changing. Exactly. It's my head, and since that time, all can you hear her? Sound help us. Huh? I have an attack in the night. They attack me in the in my head. Since that time, all over my body, I have. Uh, I used to be sick all the time. How long has this been? It's twenty since nineteen eighty-eight. Nineteen eighty-eight. That's how wicked Satan can be. Some of you were not born when the devil has been oppressing. He's an old man. Satan is not young. That old serpent story is a very old story. Praise the Lord. The Bible called him a murderer. Who did he murder? Hallelujah. Mommy, look at me. What could you not do before? What can you not do now? Sometimes that thing hook me like four to five to six months. I can't get up and do anything. So since last year, throughout since November last year till July this year, I am not been feeling fine. I sick really. If you're healed now, will you know? Yes, sir. Okay, watch your miracle happen to you right now. Okay? Watch it happen. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes so that you enjoy the miracle as it happens. Praise the Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. God isn't done with her yet. Heal her mother, Lord. Mommy, hold my hands. Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I believe in you. I believe in you. Thank you. For healing, me. for healing me father thank you thank let your power set mommy free now that wicked spirit that oppresses her go your time is up you are a spirit and tonight you bow the life of god is entering your body mommy that's what you're feeling what do you feel happening to you now something is leaving you huh Yes, my body, all my body is suffering. Is what? All my body is suffering. It's, it's shivering. Yes. Your whole, that's the power of God. It's the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I set her free right now, Lord. Let the chains be broken now. Every power go from 1988 till now. The Lord rebuke you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now mama look at me um, it's not good to ask you how old you are but let's do something all right something that can make you tired and let's see what happens how do you feel in your body go ahead jump do what you couldn't do <laughs> would you do this before how do you feel in your body right now Okay, right now, give Jesus a praise. Do what you couldn't do, Mama. Put a song for Mama to dance. Look at, look at how she came. Come on now, worship team. Mama, you are going to dance to the shame of the devil. Look at, can you see her face now? Look at the woman that just came. A few minutes right now. Mama, dance. Come on, help Mama encourage her. Look at my mother God bless you, Mama. You are healed. Go back healed and enjoy yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ear problem. There's someone you came here with ear problem. You came here with ear problem. I'm seeing someone with ear problem. What, what was the issue? Oh, we have to save time. We have to save time. So I do have ear problem. What does that mean? You don't hear very well with this? Yes, and sometimes like water. Which one do you hear well with? This one. Okay, close that one. Close both of them. Just look at me. Be open now. You sense fire moving along that ear. That's the power of God. Let it be open right now. I'm feeling what you're feeling. That's why I know that that's what is happening to you. The power of God is carrying out his surgery on that ear. Look at, look at. Can you see the power of God? Look at, look at what is happening. You see what is happening on that ear? Look at what is happening on that ear. Look at what is, is opening. Look at what is happening on that ear. That's the ear that is not working well. That's the power of God setting her free. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at, look at this. This is the, I'm not doing anything at all. I'm not doing anything. For those who don't believe these things, you know this lady. Look at, look at what is happening. Thank you, Jesus. Let her be free. Perfect freedom. Don't worry. Just let her. God is walking. 17 seconds, and you are healed. Come exactly. Close that ear. Jesus, Jesus, mighty God, mighty God, Alpha, Omega, Jesus, beginning. Come on, give Jesus a big, 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 big shout of praise. You are perfected forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on all the ones that have a problem. <sighs> Mama, is your eyes? Ah, Mama, okay, no problem. No problem, she. Please, just, just leave her. You people don't know what she has gone through. Your eyes. What's wrong with you? Sometimes I, well, okay, I can't see between the three from my front. Like, what can you not? Okay, what can you see now? I'm seeing. I'm seeing, but I didn't see anywhere. You are not seeing this thing very well now. Okay, I'll pray for you. <laughs> she had faith. She said, ah, if they won't call my case, let me call it by myself. Let's hurry up. Hallelujah. How long has it been? For more than 
seven years. More than seven years. I can't hear with this ear. Ah, that devil is a liar. Yeah. Huh? Put your hands on both of your ears. You too. What's your own? Mine was says when I was five. Water just keeps on coming out. And Water comes, comes out. Yes. That devil is a liar. Huh? Your ear is not a river. The Bible says out of your belly, not your ear. So that's anti-scriptural. Put your hands there right now. Put your hands, both of your ears. Please, I want you to expect the power of God to touch you. Lord, we give you the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. That devil of deafness, I curse you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I bring you life. I bring you the power of the kingdom that we represent. And that wicked spirit. You see the same thing happening to her? Are you seeing the same thing? This is not fake. Are you seeing the same thing now? Two different people, same operation of the spirit. Look at, look at it. Mm. See her face, she's even surprised seeing her hand shaking. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection in this year. Yeah, I speak to you. Be opened. Just take your hand away. You'll see the power of God going through your body. Which one couldn't you hear with? Close the one you can hear me. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peace. Come on, give Jesus a big clap. She doesn't hear at all. At all with that ear. In the name of Jesus. How about you? Which of the ears? Close the one that is good. Moses, Joshua, Ruth, Jesus, I'm free. Come on, give Jesus a big, 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 big clap of praise. My sister, it goes forever. Do you believe this? You're happy about what God has done. It has gone forever. Mama, let's attend to you now. You came out because you believe in Jesus. I'm going to pray for your eyes. And your eyes will be open. Jesus. Son of God, I believe in you. Perfect, Mama's eye, oh God. Cataract, cataract, that's what is wrong with you. Cataract, that's the name of the sickness. For your power and for your glory. For your power and for your glory. I believe in you. I believe in you. Let's see now. Is there any improvement? Is there any improvement? Yes. What can you see? Hold on. Hold on, please. What can you see now? I see them. You are seeing them now. No. Could you see them very well before? You could not see them at all. Yes. Try to tell me the color of the tie that man is wearing. Just this tie. Yes. This. Is yes. Red. What of what they are wearing? Blue. You couldn't see them before. Blue. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Mama, look at that time. What is the time? Can you see it? Eight, nine. 
No, it's, it's not nine yet. Don't worry, just approximate. Her. How can I help this woman? See now. Hope I'm doing the right thing. Okay. okay. How many people are standing there? Yeah. How many gentlemen are standing? Two. 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 What color of suit is the other one wearing? The dark one. The black one. Like yes. This one, like color, like a or something. But the other one is what color? Black. Black. Come on, give God praise. The Lord perfects your eyes, Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's your mother. You are using glasses. Where are they? Okay. What can you not see now? Let's, let's just hurry up. What's, what's he for here? You're using glasses too. And you're tired. Okay. So. Okay. So we're going to pray for you. Please, let's... You don't know how terrible the sickness is until uh, it comes on you, but it won't come on you. We have a few minutes, guys, and we're done. We have to hurry up. Um, there's, a, there's a part of a prophecy where I speak over your life. Can we begin to collect the prayer requests so that we kill two birds with one stone? Please, your prayer request very quickly. If you do not have a prayer request, please write. It's not a religious ritual at all. God gave us an instruction. The Bible says how that Hezekiah went to the temple and dropped the threat before the Lord and said, Lord, behold, your threatenings. So I'll pray for you. What are you all here for? Are you from? My dad. My your dad has eye problem. My grandmother has eye Your dad too has eye problem. My grandmother. My grandmother. Your grandmother. Yes. Ah, how old is she? I don't know. No, no, no. But the Bible talks about Joshua who was old. Okay, hold your hands together. Please, let's save time. You can begin to submit your request, please. Inside and outside. Hold your hands. No, no. Just these two. Just two of you. Just two of you. Let me pray for you. Jesus. Heal their parents, heal all the people who are sick right now. Let the power of God cause healing and perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. How about you? Eye problem? Lay your hands on your eyes. You too, lay your hands. You too, lay your hands. All of you, all of you with eye problem. Ah, you play drums and you're blind. Uh, oh, your mom, okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Now we're having more people just coming to say I'm tired. What do we do now? All right, eye problem, both out here and wherever you are. Um, okay. Just lay your hands on your eyes and I'll pray for you. Please, we're not playing games. Don't think we're faking it. We're very, very serious. Very serious. Very serious. Thank you, Jesus. Please write your requests. Write your request. This is December. Whatever it is that you're trusting God to do for you. Ha! The power of God is moving already. It's touching more than the eyes. It's not just eyes. Satan, go! Go! Right now. Let that eye thing live by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kabron de Jelam Pratos Kalaprash Tiada. Rekete Kete Balada Bakabaski Dabai. I touch your eyes. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Please check yourselves. You can go back to your seats and check yourselves. Check yourselves. God bless you. Sweet out your eyes. As young as you are, lay your hands. Perfection, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection for Gladys. Please, as you go back, check yourself. Hallelujah. Let's have the requests. There's someone that was diagnosed of a heart problem. You have a heart problem. I must attend to you. Heart problem. Please, heart problem. I want to pray for you now. This thing is eating you up. It's a heart problem. It's causing weakness in your body. You can't even move far. You begin to... Who is the person? You are the one with a heart problem. What did they say is wrong? You are not the only one. The person I'm seeing is very lean. 
this thing is eating you blood is not pumping well in your body and it's causing weakness of your body what's wrong I just go straight to the point what is what what did they say what did the I doctor? was told my heart was too large for too much stress your heart is too large for too much stress for what too much stress what does that mean doctors doctors okay your heart is too large for too much stress Oh, from too much stress. Ah, stress. Footballer, we are going to pray for you here. You are going abroad. You are going abroad. You will come back and testify. I saw a plane just pass over his head. You are going abroad. He's a footballer. He's going to be a very professional footballer. Father, empower his feet. Bless him. Look at me. Don't forget about God. Hmm? Money can change people and money can destroy. Don't forget about God. You are an ambassador. He's sending you there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bless you. Heart problem? Ah. ah. What did I pray for now? Okay. Lay your hands on your chest. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, be healed from the heart problem. Brother, look at me. Lay your hand on your chest to return back to its normal size right now. Huh? There is no reason for you to be stressed. Huh? If you die today, the world will still continue. Please don't let the devil cheat you. There is no reason. The Bible says, cast your cares. This world has too much worries that can kill you if you let it happen. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Heart, return to your normal position. What did they say is wrong with you? It's bad. Palpitation. They call it hypertrophic uh, myocardia or something. Hypertrophic myocardia. I don't. Uh, what does it do? What does it do to you? It doesn't pump. Uh, my heart doesn't. Yes, pump the Lord showed me. He's not pumping blood in your body, so and it makes you weak. Huh? I bring out foam, foam from my mouth. You bring out foam sometimes. Yeah. I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a wound inside you. Huh? You feel pain around your chest. This is a wound. Huh? And the wound is rotting. We need to pray for you. This is what is happening. Whatever the name is, I don't want to know. All I know is that this is the devil. Machines cannot detect spirits. Hallelujah. Lay your hands. My brother, look at me. Look at me. If this meeting is just for only you, I want you to be healed. Huh? You believe it? How long has this been? Two months now. Two months. Yeah. They diagnose you with this. Yeah. Lay your hands. Is that what is responsible for your weight loss? Yes. Huh? Yeah. You started losing weight. Yes, sir. Jesus. This is why you put this meeting. Whatever your name is, leave this body now. Heart be restored. You feel the fire of God moving around your chest. That's God. I command that wound to close now. Creatively close up this moment. Hmm, God is doing a work. I command your weight to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will testify. You return here with your testimony. How about your heart problem? I feel pain. You feel pain? When you feel pain when you wake up in the morning. If you lie down on this side of the chest, it pains you. It's not heart problem. No. Listen now. Let me talk to you. Huh? Do you know what the issue is? What did the doctors tell you? Have you gone to the hospital? You have not even gone. I want to tell you the problem. It's not heart problem. Huh? I'm seeing a name, bronchitis. This is not heart problem. Huh? Hold your hand. This is as a result of cold. And it's, it's, it's affecting you. Huh? You think it's hard because it's at that point. It's not hard. Just lay your hands. You'll be healed. Jesus. Go! Be healed right now. Hard what? Hard what? Angina. He told me. That's, that's, that's the, what told me. Your heart. Yes. It's affecting your heart. I can I see you. You are even looking weak as you're standing right now. 
You believe Jesus will heal you? Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I thank you for the healing. Lord, let your power flow. This lady perfect her now. Let her go. A wicked spirit. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Something is happening to you. Something is lifting from your chest. See, see the healing. This is this is a spirit leaving her literally. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I change that medical condition. I plead the blood, the mercy of Jesus breaks every legal access. Mm. I hear the chains falling. With a shout, you will be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. With a shout, you will be free. Lay your hands on her chest, my dear. With a shout, you will be free. With a shout, you will be free. Thank you, Jesus. With a shout, you will be free. Perfect her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. She's free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray on these requests. Hallelujah. Before we do that, come. Oh, he's gone. He's gone with his wife. Ah, okay, they have to go and rest. Praise the Lord. I wanted us to pray for them. We are going to pray on this request right now. Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Sass. Please, can we just come as many men of God that can agree? Please. I believe in the corporate anointing. I believe in the grace of God. Please, I'd like you to pray. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Stretch your hands and pray in tongues. Shakata ba 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 ba. Rakata ba kata prakata kata bela de bosh. Rakata prakata fokoso protoko to bala da bagada baga. Come on, pray, pray. Father, we thank you. Sakata kata prakata bala da 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 bosh. Lete krete kasa to poko to prakata bala da ba. Mambra taka pros. Perfection, O God. Reto soto protoko to pakate. Ente te preto soto loko to prakate. Rento so proko so prakata bala da da bosh. Maka prakata bala da bagada prakata bala da bosh. Enkriso so poko to prakata bala da bosh. Father, let there be miracles, testimonies. We change this prayer request. Reto soto loko tosh. May they become testimonies. In the name of Jesus, may they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus, change impossible situations by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shoto koto pa koto balanaba. Has to take a lebre his guitar. Mantu shake a brehe kupa hatalia. Jibra has to take a brehe guitar. Lord, I pray. Let your word in Job 16 18 be established. O art, do not cover our blood. Let our cries not find a resting place. Let every cry in the form of prayer petition not find a resting place. Until heaven hears and come true. In the name of Yeshua Amashir. We bind the powers of hell. We release. We receive answers. Tonight. By your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I want to pray and speak over your life. Healing, 
miracle is just one of the many reasons there are very few people the fraction of those who are really sick are very few compared to those who are coming trusting God for other areas finance breakthrough marriage hallelujah I want to pray and break the power of marital delay right now please lift your hands Thank you, Jesus. The power of marital delay. It is the will of God for you to get married. Father, I pray. Some of you, it will be for you and your family members. That power of darkness over marriages. Right now, at the count of three. I command the power because I'm seeing a lot of families tied down wherever you are you're standing in for yourself and your family members in the mighty name of Jesus at the count of three let the power of God move in this place and outside and break men free to enter their marital destinies no matter how long it is you're ready now wanted to shout that name at the count of three one two Three. Break. 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 Every spell of marital delay. I break it now in the name of Jesus. Break. 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 Go Koto Kota. Break. Break. In the mighty name of Jesus, break every yoke of marital delay. Break, 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 break. We release supernatural marriages. Go to Pariata, Seketeka, Sekele Kotobakata Labakaya. Break. Every curse, every yoke, we apply the blood by the mystery of the blood. Yet one last plague shall I bring upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. After that, he will let you go. We release you into your marital destinies. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, they are around. Okay, please let them come. They can come. We want to pray for them. Those of you trusting God for jobs, please lift your hands. I want you to believe this. While we will pray for them shortly, but let's pray for jobs. Lift your hands. I'm going to just shout Jesus once. And the power of God will locate people. There will be mighty testimonies between now and the next miracle service. Lift your hands. Promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. I don't care who you know or who you don't know. We are ambassadors and we legislate on behalf of the parliament of heaven. It is within our power to bind and lose. He said, for I am a man under authority. And I say unto one, go and he goeth. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to shout the name right now. Jesus! Let there be jobs. Whatever power is holding people down from jobs. In the name of Jesus. By the favor of God, I command miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, stretch your hands towards Ejimi. We are still praying. Ejimi and Hope. Ejimi was one of our ministers here. Hope was the head of department one time of the welfare. It's good to serve the Lord. When you serve the Lord, he will bless you. That's what the Bible says. Stretch your hands. Tomorrow, there will be a wedding right here. Please, you are invited. 
it's compulsory for the whole koinonia family we must come around and back them and rejoice the time is 10 on the dot the reception is at blue roof hallelujah stretch your hands father bless them bless them bless them we bless you with the blessings of the heavens we bless you with the blessings of the house we bless you with the blessings of fruitfulness may you find favor with god may you find favor with men your home is built upon love your home is built upon wisdom your home is built upon understanding and knowledge in the name of jesus christ you will raise godly children who you will train in the fear of the lord and your seed shall be mighty upon the earth the generation of the righteous will be blessed wealth and riches will be in your house in the name of jesus christ we bless you for serving the body of christ we bless you for serving this house may the lord honor you may the lord honor you may your harvest come speedily we connect you with a hundredfold anointing may you see it speedily we command men to help you we command men to bless you and Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped may you get the help of God in your life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please stand up sir thank you let me give you a big hug it's good to be married all your cake was not for nothing hallelujah God bless you thank you so tomorrow we're here hallelujah now lift your hands i want to prophesy thank you jesus please believe it for me this is the best part of the miracle service because this is where we allow the creative power that is in the word of god to find expression inside and outside please please Beautiful you are, wonderful you've been, you are glorious, faithful in all your ways, my help and my reward, you are glorious, my God. your hands i command every door that has been closed over your destiny i prophesy to it right now be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus because thou hast lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god had anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows i prophesy upon your life rise and be distinguished in the name of jesus rise and be distinguished in the name of jesus hallelujah i command every dead prayer life in this place every dead prayer altar in this place come alive now in the name of jesus Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Come alive now. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, They got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their hand help them. But because you loved them and you showed favor towards them. I want to pray in the name of Jesus right where you are standing. May the favor of God mantle you in the name of Jesus. Carry the favor of God in the name of Jesus. Manifest the favor of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph.
and they brought him out of his dungeon i pray in the name of jesus i command wine pressers i command bakers all those who will recommend you to your place of honor i call them into your life in the name of jesus i call them into your life in the name of jesus and david said is there any man of the house of saul left that i may show him kindness and the bible says they brought a cripple called mephibosheth i pray no matter what your limitations are may god send people who will recommend you and honor you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ thou shalt not be afraid of the arrow that flyeth by day nor the noisome pestilence it says they shall bear thee up on their wings so that you will not dash your feet against a stone he says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side but none shall harm you with your eyes shall you watch and see the reward of the wicked i command that you are preserved right now you have no covenant with death you are preserved in the name of jesus Bible says and thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk ye in it and you will find rest for your souls I command that that direction you need for the next level of your life for the next level of your career in the mighty name of Jesus may you hear the voice of the Spirit may it be clear unto you may it be clear unto you I open ears and I open eyes to hear and see and comprehend that which the Holy Ghost wants for you in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah the Bible says the Queen of Sheba came and she brought gifts of gold and different kinds of gifts to come and hear the wisdom of Solomon. And the Bible says when she had the wisdom of Solomon, she said that she did not even hear a half. I pray that God will give you a dimension of wisdom that will compel kings to come and hear the wisdom of the Spirit in your life. Receive that dimension of wisdom in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, does any man lack wisdom? Let him ask of God who giveth unto men liberally. Let that dimension of wisdom come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. I command that wisdom begins to function in your life from today. I pray that any plague of death over your life, he said let there be a mark of the blood upon the lintel and that when the angel of death comes when he sees the blood he will pass by i declare that there is a mark of the blood that marks you as touch not even as you move around during this yuletide season i command death is far from your life in the name of jesus christ for God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Whatever puts fear in your life, I want you to know that your God is mighty and able. And let that spirit of fear leave you now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. I declare, whatever your family members have been praying and trusting God for, before this year runs out, in the mighty name of jesus listen brothers and sisters it does not take time it only takes god it doesn't take time the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not revealing he was creating he wasn't revealing what will happen tomorrow anyway the prophetic word created that scenario in the name of jesus everything that is missing that your loved ones are trusting god for by the creative power of god's word we create breakthroughs in the name of Jesus.
every cause of lack and poverty and financial hardship in this place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare Lord your people are givers your people are addicted to advancing the kingdom therefore I curse the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ I curse the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ For God give it unto a man that is good in his sight, wisdom and blessings and peace. But to the unbeliever he gives to heap and to travail that he will bring to him that fears God. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus. I declare that your business is blessed. I declare that the works of your hands are blessed. I declare that your ministry is blessed. I declare that your family is blessed in the name of the lord jesus christ be distinguished and be blessed you will go back home as a savior go and heal the sick go and cast out devils go and raise the dead go and communicate the mysteries of the kingdom i declare that the secrets of the spirit are given unto you and these secrets will grant you power with god and power with men in the name of jesus christ the Bible says, and immediately his fame went abroad. The Bible says, when he entered the city, it was noised. It didn't tell us those who publicized it. I pray that all those who need to take word about that which God has put in your life that can bless men, I compel them to noise it abroad. In the name of Jesus Christ, may it be known that you are a deliverer. May it be known that you are a man and a woman of wisdom. May it be known that you can solve problems. All those who have been designed to honor the gift of God in your life, to recognize, to honor it, I pray that God will bring them your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray that there be a hunger for the things of the Spirit. I plant a hunger in your spirit a dimension of hunger for the word hunger for the presence of God beyond your imagination in the name of Jesus Christ everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you I prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you one more time i prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be returned i pray that before this year runs out may my God give you a sevenfold restoration you can choose not to believe it you will not go to hell but I prophesy again to you that before this year runs out may my God give you a sevenfold restoration in the name of Jesus Christ doors of opportunities be opened doors of grace I command breakthrough into your life in the name of Jesus every captivity in your life I prophesy surely there is an end and I call tonight the end of it in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus hallelujah the Bible says you shall call on one person and a nation will respond to you i declare that even those who do not like you will accomplish the purposes of god in your life i compel cyrus's by the power of the spirit to bless you in the name of jesus hallelujah and every request that you dropped here from the depths of your heart we stand in agreement 
in the name that is above all names and we turn that prayer request to a testimony now we turn that prayer request to a testimony now hallelujah thank you jesus christ keep standing i want to give an opportunity to those who have never made jesus lord of their lives please inside and outside please let's have minimal movement all those who have never made a decision for jesus christ the bible says come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy and heavy laden and i will give you rest it says for my yoke is easy and my burden is light hallelujah inside and outside some of you have given your heart to the lord please let's keep standing if you can the elderly ones can remain seated but please the young people can we stand hallelujah in honor of this great miracle yes it's a big miracle now if you've never made a decision for jesus christ especially many of you outside or you have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. This is an opportunity. You have seen the hand of God. But all of this is pointing you to the fact that God is love. And he wants to establish a vital relationship with you. Right now, as I count one to five, I want you to leave your seat. Forget about anyone you came here with and say, Jesus, I'm coming to you. Let's start all over. Hallelujah begin to appreciate them don't wait for anybody you are the first person one god bless you keep coming god bless you inside and outside please keep coming don't sit back there inside and outside no matter how far we're waiting for you just hurry up and come god bless you two god bless you keep coming but adventure you've been born again and you're saying lord I want to rededicate my life and make a genuine decision for Jesus Christ. Three, please keep coming. Don't let anybody stop you. Whether you are a pastor, whether you are a bishop, keep coming. God bless you. God bless you. Keep coming. God bless you. This is what it's all about. Keep coming. Keep coming. It's all about Four coming there's one last count no matter how far you are outside you can keep coming it's all about you. hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much i salute you brothers and sisters for coming we do not take it for granted thank you for the boldness i want you to make a decision for jesus christ you don't get born again just because you recited salvation prayer but this is just to guide you and to help you. Lift up your right hand and say this after me from the depth of your heart. It's not a special number, mean it from your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. I believe you died for me. And tonight, I make Jesus Lord of my life. Forgive me my sins. Cleanse me from every unrighteousness. I declare that I'm saved. The Spirit of God lives in me. My name is in the book of life. From today, I have a relationship with Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. And I make a decision to live for Jesus all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Now let me pray for you father thank you the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away you have brought these ones by the power of your spirit preserve them let the same grace that brought them out preserve them use them for your glory empower them may they be mighty men and women in the spirit in the name of jesus christ i pray amen now hold on thank you for making this great decision praise the lord I want you to follow the ushers. We'll be having a meeting with you. We'll communicate to you tomorrow by 5 at the chapel. Hallelujah. There'll be people there to come and pray with you, get you filled with the Holy Spirit, teach you a few things. And um, please try to make it. You'll receive a text to this effect. But just make sure that you are available and we love you. God bless you. Welcome to the biggest kingdom, the family of God. Just follow the ushers, follow the lady waving her hands. Bless you. Bless you. Follow the lady waving her hands.
Hallelujah. Now, all those worshiping with us for the first time, if this is your first time worshiping with us here at Koinonia, inside and outside, no matter how far you are, we have a prayer and a blessing for you. I want you to leave your seat and come out gloriously. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Please keep coming. If there's someone seated close to you who is not coming, tell him, come. There is a blessing for you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Those outside, God bless you. Keep coming. We want to pray and prophesy and appreciate and celebrate you. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord brought you by the power of his spirit. He brought you to change you. He brought you to build you. You will never be the same. Never, never be the same. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're glad to have you here. This is Koinonia. Praise the Lord. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. And this happens to be our last service for the year. We're happy having you around. Praise the Lord. We'll be resuming next year on the 10th. 10th will be our, our next service. And we'd like to see you again and again. We have a prayer and a blessing for you prayer works here we are men of faith and of the power of the spirit if we bless you believe me you are blessed hallelujah saints of god stretch your hands and prophesy speak into their lives you are anointed you are blessed so go ahead and bless them prophesy we release words of blessings you are preserved we plant a hunger for spiritual things.